You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> All right, so Royal Rumble. You're a Harry wizard. Oh man, should make it its own video, I would think. Yeah, this will be its own YouTube video for sure, mm -hmm. because uh, the Royal Rumble will probably take a while, starting from seventh January in Boston, Massachusetts. The suspense is that it is peak. Need a shag, we'll back down. Thank you, Cobra Commander. You will experience extreme pain. Bobo, Bobo, Bobo. Yes. He's treating him like a government mule. A message has been sent. As the sun goes down. As the sun goes down, darkness begins to. <laughs> Although I can be victorious, who would survive? Who me up as a sun? I thought we were going to do different voices, <laughs> like uh, before a uh, Dynasty Warriors aid mission. Bobo! 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 Mission failed. We may well fail this mission, guys. I know I just saved. I do not plan on reloading. So, we are Iron Man in this, because this is live. There's no take back these. Do not have enough um, experience to uh, build up any of our uh, key Four stats. Attributes. So, uh... Let's just go back to the training room, talk to Rhino, because Rhino, last time, we uh, shook his hand. I wonder if it's going to be the same sort of a thing, where he's like, hey, you remarks back, you remarks back. You think you got the drop on me last week, huh? What do you desire, Rhino? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing different voices. No, I can say. Well, don't get too cocky. You barely won. These are totally different. I won't go down too easily next time. All right, looking forward. All right, looking forward to it. Blah, blah. Blah. You were great last week. Hey, remember when we used to be a, an item? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't really remember. Oh, you're gonna get speared now, or bored? Even after the match. Even after the match, you were a real gentleman. I really was impressed. Nice <laughs> and then you get scored. Oh, experience minus five. Uh, did you hear your rhino? Barbecue salsa! Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go to the shop then and uh, look at what we could purchase. We bought a bunch of movesets. We could unlock, uh, oh, it's 35 to uh, unlock any of these other superstars. We could unlock Hawk or Animal, Old School Undertaker, Sardin Slaughter, Ted DiBiase, and Jimmy Snuka. Well, I'm gonna say I would I like, like most Sergeant of these. I like Sardin Slaughter. Sure. Jimmy Snuka probably murdered somebody. Yeah. So I would, but I think Million Dollar Man's probably there. Yeah. Also, like Hawk or Animal, like it'd be good to have Hawk and Animal. Because there'd be, it'd be good to have them as a tag team, and there'd be a strong tag team to have for tag angles. Are you but saying that Animal's no good without Hawk? He's just no good anymore. Because, you know, <laughs> poor Animal. <I> know. <laughs> Let's start the event. Let's proceed to the match card. Peter Black! <laughs> the Peter Black! <laughs> is not in this game. <laughs> Okay. Universe of Sable. Nice face move! I want to grab a, another water before we start the actual pay per view itself and match the main water level, so I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, also, sub main event here uh, in the Royal Rumble a World Heavyweight Championship match, last man standing between Steve Austin and The Rock. Why would you put something like that at the top of a card? Uh. I mean, yeah, the Royal Rumble does, but then the Royal Rumble match isn't... Is the Royal Rumble match typically at the end of those pay-per-views anymore, or is it, like, the sub-main event? Oh, okay. I forget. I haven't, I haven't actually watched a Royal Rumble, like, in, you know, like, sitting in front of it as it unfolds before, other than, you know, the ones on, uh, you know, Catch One Coliseum Home Video. Hillbilly Jim approved Coliseum Home Videos. I learned the shocking truth about Coliseum Home Videos. It turns out it was actually owned by WWF. What? I thought it was this totally independent company. So let's skip this match, because why would you want to watch it? And Steve Austin. Oh, Legend of Stone Cold. 
I might be playing that later. Um, I oh. sure hope that Steve Austin got all of his um, required attributes. Never mind, so you guys. I got the. Uh, Damn, it didn't work. I've got a new subscriber emoji, but uh, it doesn't appear to have made an appearance when I uh, just did that. That sucks. Here's William J. 30 superstar. I'm the game. You don't want to play me. Okay, so we're just getting a picture. It's not giving us any other special instructions. Oh, fuck. Shawn Michaels drew number one in the Royal Rumble. You know that means that he's going to win by storyline. Right. Which our tag team championship thing has not really a, they have not much been. happened out of that in a recent while. I think I may have short-circuited it by asking to be allowed in the Royal Rumble and then asking for a tag title match like mm. in the same card. So like now we've got the strap who's never gonna have to spend them. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. And it looks like it's sometimes Oh man, I forgot about the Rikiki turn it up theme. Turn it, turn it, turn it. I never quite figured out Rafiki got inducted in the Hall of Fame and he never mentioned Scotty Fuhati or Grandmaster Sexy in his induction speech. Did he mention running over the rock in a car? I don't know if he did that. But this must be before that happened because he's uh, you know, that's yeah, a good guy. He's, he's a friendly. He's not a bad man he's with a friendly. <laughs> he's, a, he's not a bad man with a fat ass, which was uh, his, uh, saw, his, his theme music following that. So this is going to start out with Shawn Michaels versus Rikishi. So uh, we got to watch this until Bobo arrives. Yeah. <laughs> Although apparently um, they must come a lot faster and you know more furious. Uh, the next person will be the incorrect answer. Rick Flair. Are they all going to come in at 10 second intervals? I don't feel like that's how the Royal Rumble used to w usually works. It's probably something you could change in the options. But well, Lord Alfred, I drew number three, and it makes. I was gonna say, Ric Flair has a really good history when he starts out at number three. It's the majority of the history that he has in the Royal Rumble, actually. Oh, and there he goes. When Triple H is already in. They're well. really kind of uh, concentrated in one corner here. Come on, the Batista eliminate him. Oh shit, we gotta get in there in time to help out our tag partner, Rey Mysterio. I'm sure that our ally, Booyaka the Vulture, would never betray us in this sort of scenario. He's having a pretty easy time of it so far, no one's attacked him at all. <laughs> also, is that a graphical glitch, or do people that aren't the first two starters not get to uh, save up more than two finishers? I don't know. But your music is awesome. We got the hurricanes on this game. You get a pretty good run going. Uh, did you clear? Out? Yeah, you get a you get a pretty good run of just eliminating guys as soon as they come in the ring, which really makes me think you could win from number one. I'd forgotten how how it works in this game, but it pretty much is just a matter of trying to roll guys out of the ring. Lance Storm, if you can be serious for a moment. Brock is the guy I figured Vince McMahon would be like evil, cheating, helping guy, you know, helping this guy out guy. Oh no, no, no. Oh god, that was good. That was terrifying. <sighs> yep, and I'm eliminated. <laughs> now we just gotta watch the rest of this. Yep. I was gonna say not. Oh wait, let me have the controller. Oh sure. 
Uh, I don't think you can actually press start to take control. I don't think you can assume direct control. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's a way. Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. Although you are super heavyweight, so um, Lance Storm could not pick you up. Oh man, can you imagine if Mr. JG won the Royal Rumble? <laughs> I, no, I can't imagine that. Oh wait, now there is. You can press the select button to take over Rhino. Are you going to do that? Wait, no. Hang on. There you go. Now oh. you're in control of JG. Let's see if JG can do it. He's already eliminated Gold Dust. <laughs> I'm gonna try to avenge your defeat. Okay, that and didn't really out. work. <laughs> Go JG indeed. <laughs> I'll plug in the second controller port. That's how you uh, uh, defeat um, um, Psycho Mantis. It's not really a But I didn't even lose a grapple. He just punched me, and I flew out of the ring. <laughs> yeah. Now I could press select to take control of Randy Orton. I wouldn't know that. I thought you'd think it would make the match run faster. Yeah, I mean, that's basically my thinking behind it, is that, uh... Guys, <laughs> might go faster than that. Oh, wow. Shooting star pressed by Brock Lesnar. I was just trying to make sure that, like, I eliminated Brock Lesnar, but even that didn't happen. And he didn't eliminate me. Maybe we could make somebody really... Uh, would it still be nice to make somebody really unlikely win the Royal Rumble? Like, make Val Venus win the Rumble? Oh, Rodney Mackman. World Rumble. Championship. <laughs> test, test, this is test. Eh, it's going at well enough of a pace on its own. There are only 10 left. Oh man, can I see and we never did find out what um, what Vince McMahon's special plans for number 30 were. Well, I mean, I think we'll find out. It was Charlie Haas, remember? No, that's 29. Yeah, he's still like, probably going to be like Big Show or something. Could be. Or Stephanie McMahon. He is playable in this game. You can only really show. You can use her in exhibition mode. You don't really. You can use her in like if you start. If you are playing as a female superstar, I think you can you know, be involved in like angle. I don't think you can. Think oh, you maybe can not. Can play as a female superstar in this game actually. Yeah, you can like select a female superstar. The angles are a lot more limited. I don't think they, you can. Well, maybe, maybe you can. Maybe I'm misguided. I'm misguided. I'm just remembering. Oh, that's the guidance of my memory is faulty. Alright, so folks, who's got money on who in the Royal Rumble now? Debate oh. effing effing? Good question. Did Ultima Dragon just eliminate Brock Lesnar? Oh <laughs> shit, and he almost just eliminated John Cena. Meanwhile, RVD did Rolling Thunder on nothing. And then he followed up by actually doing it on test. John Cena eliminated! By Ultimo Dragon. Ultimo Dragon is a house of fire out there. That's right, Ninja Fox Master. Ultimo Dragon is now my new hope for winning this thing. Just don't take over. No, I'm not gonna take over. You're right. No. Well, what? Oh, we got the Monster Kane. What is he, Dario Cueto's brother? I mean, he's the monster. Well, that's why I'm saying the Monster the Kane, Kane and not yeah. the monster... But yeah. There was a wrestler called the Patriot in the 90s. Yeah, Patriot Del Wilkes. He took on Bret Hart. And, um... Test is dead, I believe, Yeah, and he did have the Kurt Angle music. Yeah, Patriot Del Wilkes, and he also, like, before he got to WWF slash E, he was in a tag team with Buff Bagwell. Or no. Was he? Yeah, uh, Stars and Stripes. Yeah, that's right, Stars and Stripes. Limited Stripes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was Star from Buff Bagwell and Stripes. Yeah, like the tag team that Buff Bagwell was in before oh, American Christian, Males. Oh, how could you? News. 
the, yeah, the tag team he was in before uh, Stars, before he was in uh, American Males, which is the tag team he was in before he was in Vicious and Delicious. <laughs> the tag team he was in before he um, had a match with Booker T on WWE television that was so bad it ruined forever our chances of seeing WCW continue on as a brand under Vince McMahon's ownership. Really? Yep. Booker T and Booker T, they, they had a WCW thing, like, with WCW logos and WCW announcers, and they did a match on Raw that was supposed to be a WCW match between Booker T and Buff Bagwell, and the crowd booted out of the building, and Vince was going to decide, well, fuck it, I'm not going to... He was going to try to keep WCW around as a brand as a that he owned, entity to, uh, that, yeah. and instead they did the Raw as a brand and SmackDown as a brand. So, Rodney Mack or Kane... Come on, Rodney Mack. Oh, never mind. I thought it yeah, was still, still, Charlie still, Haas. There's still Undertaker. Yeah, see, in more modern games, I feel like you wouldn't have slid backwards, and you just would have armed, like, Kane would have arm-dragged them out of the ring. So, who's been paying attention? Who's the final entry here? We knew that Charlie Haas was going to be 29. I hope Charlie Haas gets eliminated, like, immediately. Although him eliminating the Undertaker would also be pretty sweet. Booker T. Booker T, apparently the chosen corporate champion of Vince McMahon. <laughs> Charlie Haas had a great run, but he's out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a JT run. Was not Edge. Goldberg, Booker T. Yep, Booker T. <laughs> and he's just... Come on, Rodney Mack, you gotta be able to... Damn. I really wanted Rodney Mack to win this thing. Especially with, like, oh, there's some one-player icon floating up there. So I wonder if all of the guys are now off to the left, like, and they were in that one elimination match. So we could still pick whoever it is that we want. But, uh, no. At this point, we gotta oh, see well, whether I'm the computer Booker decides. T. If Booker T is the Royal Rumble champion. And now we're gonna have a few different dates on a fictitious Japanese shampoo commercial. <laughs> And we're gonna confront him in a uh, gonna confront him in a store. supermarket, yeah. and he's gonna get buried in the most like you know convincing manner possible, which literally gets no offense. In this uh, surprise attack. <laughs> that was cool for the segment though. We're gonna no super show for him because he's a good experience. Yeah, I got five experience from that nice face move. Well. Saving it. You're just gonna have to um, no take win, uh, win the title by requesting a title shot from Stephanie McMahon. Yeah. Maybe we'll actually see what happens when you win the U.S. title. Let's go ahead and start this program. See what happens. Honestly, I don't even know that the uh, Royal Rumble was uh, long enough to uh, deserve its own video. <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna be another ass trophy. It's time for the Holly Anticipated David Beauty Contest! Sorry, I jumped on your line there. <laughs> Don't you ever step on my lines again! But I'm just a woman, you couldn't possibly be that angry at me! <laughs> oh god. That's dark, <laughs> man. <laughs> this is the true highlight of my career, baby! Fuck you. Bobo will be the nice guy. <laughs> Let's see if he picked the same way he did when we had these exact same divas in this exact same contest a couple of months ago. <laughs> Alright, I think that's enough talking. Let's see some action start with Sable. Whoa. Oh my. That was about to pass out there. She got a vagina under all that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get this as the uh, boss image this time. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes That's closed worse. in ecstasy. That is worse. <laughs> <laughs> also, we'll write next to it have a picture of Booker T <laughs> licking his <laughs> lips. <laughs> while Grimmith looked at Jerry King Lawler's chest thoughtfully. Okay. Go fuck okay, stuff. now stop for our next little contestant, Leia. Woo. I mean, woo? <laughs> Wait, Ric Flair asked you a question. Woo? <laughs> I'd do anything to get my hands on that, which I have in storyline. JR, I can't take this any longer. This is a class contest. All right, let's let Bobo decide who the winner is for some oh, reason. I, I know that if I did, and one of them yelled at me, I'd probably end up punching her in the eye and getting in trouble. 
Uh, yeah, this game doesn't remember the last week he's arrested over by his girlfriend, just so many, yeah. This is also a pretty nice picture, Jerry the King Lawler. <laughs> Jerry the King Lawler is <laughs> somewhat <laughs> photogenic in a very weird way in this game. King, I think you're forgetting you're on the payroll right now. Oh, I mean, you, you were. <laughs> so, Bobo, who do you think the winner is tonight? The American Club. That's right, the American Club. Well, come on. Lita and I were an item, and we've already judged this the same way. And there's that same guy that's in the, like, basketball <laughs> jersey, oh, but it on. looks like a dashiki or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing at its church that says SmackDown, but the S is, like, cut off on the, like, one horizontal <laughs> yeah. blade, so it stretches off to infinity behind him on his side there. Remember the pie. No, hold on. Not so fast there. I think it's time for a poll. Somebody text Grimmett. What does he want? I mean, do we want to try doing it differently to see the alternate paths, or do we want to recreate the Lita storyline complete with pie? No, no, no. I'm a, lo I'm a, I'm a loyal Lita, Lita loyalist in this uh, situation. Also, Sable, I mean, if Sable, if we say Sable wins, we're just going to get involved in an angle uh, with Brock Lesnar. We've wrestled him enough. Yeah, he's getting old. Grimmith wants himself to win. Well, Grimmith is the most beautiful diva of them all. <laughs> Grimmith will get the golden ass trophy. That's a lot, King. This really means a lot to me. Let's get another round of applause <laughs> for me, Lita. <laughs> There's the ass <laughs> trophy. <laughs> 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 People won't have any pie. Bobo loves pie. Yep. Grandma's pie recipe. And it also just cuts off, like, like at, at under boob uh. level. <laughs> just what the hell? What the hell, trophy? What the hell, trophy? Game designers who made this trophy. <laughs> I'm stroking out! <laughs> That was one slobber knocker, folks. <laughs> that was a truly a <laughs> slobber knocker. Thanks for joining us, Bobo. I'm retiring as of tonight. <laughs> wow, sorry, man. <laughs> I know this is not exactly your cup of tea, I guess, but, uh... Oh, wait, no, 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 I don't want to speak to the match card. Did I earn any extra SmackDown bucks that... No, I didn't win. I don't get any money. <laughs> What? I didn't go. The to Royal the Rumble is a really awful night for WWE superstars because only one of them actually gets any money. Well, I mean, only one of them gets to go to the pay window. Slobberknocker is the name of the trophy. Oh, boy. Yep. So yeah, actually, uh, yeah, there's nothing to do other than go to the match. So uh, let's go to the match card. <laughs> and we face Brock Lesnar anyway. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if we had actually, uh, oh, Sable. Oh, it's alright. Sable won an actual match, so she still gets to go home feeling good about herself. Now we have a U.S. Championship Battle Royal featuring Undertaker, Kurt Angle, Edge, and Triple H. They are all Who is the world champion? for the U.S. Championship. That card. And Kurt Angle takes it off Undertaker. That's a good smackdown after the pay-per-view, folks. And, uh... <laughs> Let's uh, go ahead and have our let's have our weekly beat down with Brock Lesnar. <laughs> have our main event match after that. Yeah, Steve Austin is the champ. I think Nicholas is right. Yeah. Company to the ring boy Sable, who is angry about this whole not being able to be Who's beat up. Angry in about a the slobber knocker, but still happy about her victory over Tori Wilson in an actual wrestling contest. <laughs> Remember the game? Yes, no, I do know there was one of these WWE games where they, like, every menu option, like, I think it was the original SmackDown game. Voice acted, yeah. Yeah, well, at least that part was. And, like, yeah, when you would go into mode. any of the menu options, and one of the match types was called Slobberknocker. That and he was would a say, nice way to open a match. Slobberknocker. Oh, what? And now he's taunting me up? Come on. Slap fight. <laughs> they push fight, push fight. It's a sumo match. <laughs> Who can push the other one outside of the table? So, I didn't see that LP. I, I, I suppose I could always go back and watch it because it sounds like it's pretty. 
let's get on. That with game is excellent. Like, I really do want to try out that game one of these days. But uh, so, so in the sumo match, one of the competitors just on his own power walks out of the space. And lost. Is that what happened? I won the rumble. He's competing, bro, bro. Uh -huh. But anyway, that's what happened. The guy uh, that just walked out of the uh, ring on his own. Um, I forget if he did. There was definitely one where, like, I don't think it actually involved um, Grimace <laughs> doing any offense. Like, they were still comically short matches because it was just literally punch your opponent to the side of the ring mm -hmm. and then knock them down. <laughs> but it allowed Brock Lesnar to get up so quickly because he's not affected by the move at all. I thought you said he's not affected by the moon. It's kind of kind of weird. Well, he's not the Darewolf, PJ Black. PJ Black. The Darewolf, PJ Black. I've been doing this now for about two hours. Not sure. If there was a stopping point we had in mind for SmackDown, or if you there wasn't, to we didn't have any any, any points for anything in mind. mind. I was just I was thinking about it. DTV and Mystiky yeah, and Dicky Wrestling. I don't know if I'd be able to put the DTV logo on my trunk like this, but I could probably find some sort of red and black kind of singlet number. I don't know if I could get the spaghetti strap so thin. You say this is so this costume uh, has <laughs> some significance other than the fact that it's what you were able to create for this game. Well, I do own a, re I do own a wrestling singlet, <laughs> and this is what it looks like, broadly speaking, other than not saying PTV on it. I was wondering if we would go into the next pay-per-view and then maybe make that be a, a switching point. Yeah, exactly. Whoa! That really didn't look like it hit, but Brock decided to sell it anyway. It's a move, it's a move. It's a move. You're not going to win the gold mask trophy like that. Just eliminated him from all sorts of Royal Rumbles. <laughs> Going through the table. Well, apparently uh, the uh, pro dynamics that are involved in it uh, work here. That's not going to happen. The bird. Stone Cold. Oh, sure. I'm able to create a different kind of Stone Cold here. Luckily, there's no commentators at this table, so need to be removed. <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> joke slam and rock through some tables. Regular MDD. Old Smackdown activity. Look, he kicked out of my finisher. I'm, uh... I'll never forgive him! I'll never get up! Apparently we have to go to the uh, corner of the outside of the ring area, not in a 45 degree angle from where I threw him. Ow. Oh yeah, oh yeah, stop it, Brock. Mm. Unfortunately, I can't stop the Brock. I can't <laughs> stop the Brock, I can't which stop Which just made me think about Guan Ping and Destiny Hood. <laughs> nice sidestep there. Oh man, I just got clothesline through the table. My hubris! He's reversing everything. If only there was a limit to his reversal meter.
That's the real table turner. Oh. I always like it when the black belt demon put people in the bear hub since he's about five feet tall. Like even by the standards of Rumble Roses, he's pretty short. He is not selling any grapples right now. Here we go. There's no rope break to be had here, <laughs> Brock Lesnar. <laughs> yeah, you're doomed now. You know, if Bobo is uh, regretting that last burrito. The last of Bobo Rito. He's regretting that last Viper Churro. <laughs> Trying to figure out a price point. <laughs> like that's just to get some evil behind something eventually. <laughs> Good thing there's no stamina in this game. He, uh, at this point, if you hit him with a finisher, he would go down and stay down. But, you know, it's that thing. More arm breaking. <laughs> This one's not going so good. Oh, nice! Nice. Your F5 does nothing. <laughs> My <laughs> Magnum level. Driver does everything. Your yeah, power level isn't high enough to the CG. I'm only using 1% of my power, Brock Lesnar. Respect for Brock Lesnar. He's been an enemy in the past. Is it time? I so don't believe anything happens to you other than like they turn yeah. away and yeah, you look like a jerk, but you look like a dip. I'll show respect to everybody because I'm just that nice. Mm -hmm. I don't remember specifically for sure what happens, but yeah, let's be nice. I think it, this the the riff tracks of Buffalo Rider. I always think back on, which was um, um, he has respect for all men, except the situation. <laughs> Not a moron. <laughs> You know what, I do have to give Brock Lesnar now Lethal Brock. Feline uh, pipes up. Didn't say anything, I was talking about a fight for churros. <laughs> I think I think I'm correctly naming a food item from uh, Rasa Tatar or something? No, Chrono uh, Cross, or something. Oh, Chrono Cross. Oh, well, whoa. it's like, damn, it's like you got Shepard, hey, babyface dialogue. I think a dialogue. nice skull with a sword uh, through it. You know, buddy, I think a nice skull with a sword through it would look good right there. There. <laughs> and his response is, of course, the. That's right. He's like, no, you've got like Commander Shepard Paragon dialogue. No one can resist the siren call. Apparently not. Which hopefully will mean next week I'll see somebody backstage and they'll be like, nice, thank you. <laughs> and I'll just keep getting more experience this way. This is the real way to build up your character to his uh, maximum. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and then drop Rock this down to the uh, your hand. <laughs> What's going on here? No,